So I have this question from Sarah and Sarah says that she has this critical voice in her head and it is stopping her from taking action. Actually, even when she does take action, it's still critical of her, which is interesting in itself. But we're talking here, of course, about procrastination. And I'm going to show you very quickly here the mindset we're all in when we are procrastinating, okay? So this here is the mindset we want to get into, and it's diff different to the typical trap we're in with procrastination, okay? So the first thing we're in, we, we all want to avoid when we're procrastinating. And this is, is of course, what the, the inner critic really attacks us for, is we all want to not be the dreaded lazy word, okay? Trying to desperately avoid that. And we all want to become productive, okay? The problem is when we're in this trap of procrastination, we're actually not in the productive part. We're in what I call the, and you may have seen this before in one of my other videos, we're in the bossy mindset. So we go between bossy and lazy, bossy, lazy. And of course, if you're in the middle of this and you're being pulled this way and this way, it's the inner critic is in charge of all of this. So we're not gonna find ourselves getting an awful lot done. What I want us to do, and my whole, my book is about, my course is about everything, my work with clients on this, is to get out of this mindset entirely into this one. Now this mindset could be described as decisive, okay? And above all, this mindset will lead us to freedom. This is freedom from indecision. It is emotional freedom. It's none of this harshness that we have down here. Now what I'm gonna show you is a really quick way, this is a reminder for people who have, who have followed me here for a while and anyone that's new to this. Things to avoid and things to focus on, to get out of this and into this. What you want to avoid is, first of all, forget trying to get it done or complete it, okay? I want you to almost forget about that and I want you to focus instead on simply starting or committing to a start time for yourself. Just make a decision. Now, I don't really care if you actually get it done, okay, when you're overcoming procrastination. The most important thing is simply to make a decision and say, I'm gonna start at this time. Now, if you don't get it done, what happens? Well, then we'll talk about that. That is more to do with setting of boundaries and consequences, which I'm going to get into here. But I want you to get out of this mentality of your responsibility is to get it done, get it finished, okay? Your responsibility is simply to escape indecision, to start making decisions for yourself. When will I start? Other things we're going to avoid here is this whole myth of I need to be more disciplined with myself. That's just another way of criticizing yourself. This is nothing at all to do with discipline. Oftentimes I'll see people who procrastinate, clients, <clears throat> and they have this, oftentimes they're, they're trapped in this thing where they're making elaborate plans for themselves and of course failing to follow through on these plans. So I want us to, to drop this idea that I have to plan my way out of procrastination. It doesn't work. Huge elaborate goals we set ourselves also won't work. We're gonna focus on simply setting a start time, being decisive with that. Now, if we don't show up for that start time, we're gonna talk about, well, what happens. The consequence for not showing up should really be that you say to yourself, you know what, I'm stepping away from this now for today. The one thing I'm not gonna allow myself to do is move a boundary I have set for myself. And the boundary is, this is my time to work, I've decided when it should happen, and this guilt-free fun should be scheduled into your calendar, okay? a non-negotiable period in your day where you start to, you say to yourself, I'm stepping away from work now proactively. So starting, committing to starting, setting boundaries with the work, when it starts, when it begins, when, when it ends, having consequences for when you don't, when you procrastinate, when you don't show up when you said you would, and that is to step away from it entirely, and having guilt-free fun, non-negotiably put into your diary every single day. This approach will lead us here. This approach tends to leave us here, okay? So these are just a few thoughts that I want you, Sarah, and anyone else who's watching this, to keep in mind. 
all these videos I'm making here about procrastination, some might say that I'm focusing on this issue a lot. I really think there is a lot to this approach. And what I'm really focused on here is, is reminding people that there is another way to relate to yourself when it comes to being productive. You don't have to be harsh on yourself all the time and you don't have to listen to that inner critic, which of course is only doing that because it feels afraid and overwhelmed. It's only been that harsh on you. I'm talking about making these videos here to remind us that there is another way to we, that we can approach productivity. And it's one that is much more compassionate and also just so happens to be much more effective and will actually help you get a lot more done. So commit to your start times, set boundaries with your work, have consequences when you do procrastinate, and then schedule in guilt-free fun into your day. And Sarah, let me know how that goes and uh, hope that was helpful. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.